In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the most holy body and blood of Christ. We also call it Corpus Christi in Latin. And so he loved us so much that he gave us his only son uh, to feed us with our uh, spiritual food, the living bread from heaven. And so trusted in God's love and mercy that has come to us for the cleanse of our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wound of sins and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Grant us, we pray, 
So to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. To live and grace with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. From the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, for un a food unknown to you and your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is the Lamb of God. He is the living bread that came down from heaven. He is the living bread that nurtures 
and sustains our spiritual life at Mass. Jesus gave us himself in the Eucharist to nurture and sustain our spiritual life. Most people can recognize the need to eat and drink every day, three times a day, such as breakfast, lunch, and dinner without failure in order to sustain the physical existence in this physical world. But how many people can see the need to sustain the spiritual life? I believe very few can grasp what Jesus is saying, the need for the living bread that came down from heaven. The Jewish people reject the idea. Some of us may listen to it and dumbfound. We do not understand what he's talking about. But if we go to Catechism, we learn about the sacrament of the Eucharist. We learn about the bread and the wine once being a, a, a consecrate will transform into the body and blood of Christ. Brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the body and blood of Christ as the only essential food to sustain our spiritual life that we cannot go without. So during the pandemic, Mass is limited down to 10 people for attendance and many cannot attend the Holy Mass. We would value what we miss. I hope this challenges us to spend some time to meditate on the meaning of life that Jesus offers us. So, what is it? What does it mean? What is this life that Jesus is talking about that he says this prayer? and drink this blood, we receive eternal life. We need to figure this out before it is too late, for we cannot learn to value what we don't know or understand. It may go to, from one ear to another and we forget. I see at this time, this day and age, many of our young people's have abandoned church. They become indifferent to the Eucharist because of the Holy Mass. We see the need uh, to unite with Jesus to communion only those who believe what Jesus said. And so in the Mass, we see that the priest showed the host to the people he elevated the horse and then he, we at the Lamb of God, he broke the horse into small pieces. And each person received their small pieces when they come up to receive communion. So, what does that mean? It means that Jesus had been broken down, you know, to be, to suffer and die and rise on the third day. So the whole passion of Christ being summarized in the one action of uh, breaking the bread. He being broken into many pieces. And because of his sacrifice, his death and resurrection, he able to unite everyone who have been, been redeemed by him, who have decided to receive Jesus and to unite with him in the Holy Eucharist. And so through Jesus, everybody is being united as one. And that's what he means when he comes into this world to take away the sins. Because sin is separate. It cut people off from each other. So that's why 
Jesus come to take away the sins by being himself being broken, being divided by the effect of sins. But then people receive him, that through him, that through time and space, yesterday, today, and forever, he joined all people of all time and space together into one body, that the mystical, mystical body of the church. And so Jesus offered himself to the Father as the sacrifice in his suffering and death and resurrection to take away the sins of the world and to unite all of us to himself. That's what it means to live with God, to be one with God. And so at this Mass, let us open our heart and our mind to give thanks to God the Father for the living bread that comes up to us from heaven at Mass so that we may believe and confess our faith so the Eucharist will nurture and sustain us on our pilgrimage toward the kingdom for eternal life. Amen. We're going to use the Apostles' Creed. Let us stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We can pray to the Father with great confidence because in Christ He has set His heart upon us. That all who share in the body and blood of Christ may show their unity by loving one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of the world may work together to ensure that all who are afflicted with hunger may have enough to eat. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who no longer practice the Catholic faith may once again come to value the precious gift that is the living bread that came down from heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That sent into the world at Christ's command, we may always live the new life that he gave us through shedding of his blood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those in special need of our prayers, those serving our country in the military, first respond responders, those suffering because of the COVID-19 virus and those who are trying to help them, those seeking work or food, those who have died, and those who are sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the special intention for which we offer this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Merciful Father, receive these prayers we offer in union with the pierced heart of your beloved Son, who lives and reigns 
forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh 
from the rising of the sun to Satan, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, grace we make holy this gift, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith
And the Savior commanded them come by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace we grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and great gracefully grant her peace and unity and accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
instead of afraid. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.